I know, there's been a lot of change on the channel lately, but I'm afraid I have to announce the biggest change of all. I'm an aggro gamer now. <laughs> it hurts to even say it, but this is what best of one is. I'm sorry. I tried to control it. I tried to combo it. I will probably keep comboing it. It is degenerate. It is not real magic. It is best of one. And if they're just gonna make decks that kill on turn three, we're gonna play decks that kill them on turn three or four or whatever, something like that. Mono red. Slick Shot Show Off is a new creature in the mono red deck. This bird wizard is a real killer. For one in a red, you get a one, two flying haste. And whenever you cast a non-creature spell, the show off gets plus two plus oh until end of turn and you can plot it. So you can pay two mana and put it into exile face up and cast it for zero in the future. This card is turning mono red into some kind of a storm deck definitely a prowess deck and i'm kind of here for it honestly it adds a little bit of flavor to it and this is the final version of mono red that i eventually ended up on i actually tried a lot of things today the biggest rule that i kept to two new cards four copies of the show off Four copies of Demonic Ruckus, because I think this card is also nutty. It is plotted for one in red. It's an enchant creature aura. The enchanted creature gets plus one, plus one, and has menace and trample. And when this is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, you draw a card. So, with between these two plot cards, you can set up super explosive turns that punch amazingly hard. And I'm really excited to show you how to play this deck and how I think it should be built. Now, I do not start out with this build. You're going to see many incarnations of this deck in this video that also highlights just how amazing I am as a pilot. CTB, is that sarcasm? No questions. You're going to enjoy it just saddle up for the ride. Before I dive into the gameplay, I need to thank my sponsors, CoolStuffInc.com and Ultimate Guard. And I also need to mention that I have a Drip Shop live stream coming up on Friday the 19th. To celebrate the release of Outlaws, we're going to be giving away collector boosters of Outlaws of Thunder Junction. So you just need to sign up for Drip Shop Live and be in the chat to be able to do that. Check out the link in my description and I will see you there. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Ah, uh, yeah. One land, one Kumano. And the opponent is effectively down to 10. <laughs> uh, let's try for better. Sure, two lands. Love that. I think I'm gonna plot this ruckus. I'm gonna plot this ruckus. Woo! Oh, I'm a plotter. I'm a person who plots. Scamp means nothing to me. Here's my Swifty. Here's my Ruckus. Coming at ya. That might be a tough one to kill. They've got Swifty. You're angry. Should I be playing anger? It does seem good in my deck. Okay, that's two straight lands. Our hand was looking so good. So, I could get some points in here. I think I'm supposed to get points in here. That said, it's very scary what could happen. I'm thinking about powering up Foundry and then seeing how much they can deal to me. I could potentially die. If their hand is that good, I'm going to lose anyway, is my thought process. So, make them have it. Drawing two straight lands there was brutal. Okay, there's a Ruiner. All right, we're not dead yet. Yep, look at all that. So they have a creature heavy hand. I have a creature light hand. Wow. I I am amazed. I am amazed.
What do you think? Do we make them make the first move? I think we do. Well, no. Let's get some points. Let's strike the Ruiner. That's the thing that's probably going to kill us. And then hopefully we can catch a monstrous raged creature with the Witch Stalker Frenzy. Maybe they're drawing land too. That's not the worst. Bean splitter. Target. Over there. Wait for it. Wait for it. Uh-huh. And our swift spear gets the prowess buff. So the scamp can't kill it. Uh, okay, they're gonna sack the other scamp? I'll, I'll take that. We're gonna draw a card from the Ruckus. Just not a land, please. Four straight lands, five straight. 20 land deck, by the way. Five straight lands. Hopefully they're just afraid to move in, but they'll probably just equip the Bane Splitter. Yep. That's why we don't try to block with the Foundry. It never had a block. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> happening what is happening at this point we're trying to run up the score okay maybe they're drawing land too <laughs> somebody run the numbers two land hand nine lands drawn not a single spell drawn this game. Somebody do the math. Oh no, God! It can't be. It can't be. Eight lands in a row. Half the lands in our deck. Math nerds, show me the odds. Somebody has to run that. I've got to know. How bad at magic am I really? Recovering from that, looking at a three lander, it feels like I'm probably going to draw 12 lands in a row. But this one, I, I want to keep, I think? I don't know, man. The Kumano might not get paid off. So I'm going to plot first. And then I'm going to hope that we can line up the Kumano to get a counter on something because we stalled a little bit. Ping. Countdown begins. If you hear horse noises, it's because it's behind me. Behold! My new pet. What's up, buddy? How you doing? I know. Start the petition now. We want the horse cam. So what do you think? If we power up an attack, we're gonna die, right? So we can't? That's what I'm thinking. Opponent's just gonna sit back on endless spot removal. Ooh, that's not bad. If they're gonna sit on removal. You gotta take action someday. There it is. All right. We just have to inflict 17 damage with this hand. Preacher, cool. That these, okay guys, come on. <laughs> this is getting absurd. <laughs> this is getting absolutely stupid. Let's put into a graveyard. Okay, we'll go there. 
Frenzy you. There might be a Shieldred. At this point, I'm just going to take that L. Tapped land, love that. Preacher. We have the double bolt on the Preacher option. Or we go face. The thing is, we might draw a Frenzy. And if we draw a Frenzy, we're going to be really glad that we held these. Why would we draw a Frenzy when we can draw a land? This is getting disgusting. <laughs> but keep in mind, the spell we drew was Sokenzen. That's a land. What did we keep? We kept a three lander. Okay, that's not a land. Hey, how you doing? Uh, power up and go. Just gotta keep declaring war here. Seven health. We're gonna get there, I can tell. Yep, cut down. What else you got? All the spot removal in the universe. Uh. <laughs> Come on! Are you joking right now? <laughs> I just can't. I can't. <laughs> 20 land deck, guys. 20 land deck over here. Do we go for that? I think they plan to power this up. They're also just sitting on non-stop removal spells. If I wait a turn, it could be better. Patience. Mastermind? Do you want to make me draw? You don't? Weird. Hold it back, hold it back. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we can do here. Whoa, 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 whoa. In response, my third cut down of the game. See, it takes one to make a cottage. It does. Could have gotten them to take a damage to do it. Jesus! <laughs> awesome. That's awesome. But they're still not attacking with the cottage. You'd think they'd need that food. Nope, they're going to go for the bat. Okay, well, we're headed upstairs. Because we're going to find lightning strike. We're going to find the first lightning strike since I built this deck. And it's going to be right here, right now. It wasn't. Great. That can't be right. That can't be right. I... Best red player alive. <laughs> That's nine lands. That's nine lands drawn after a game in which I drew ten. It's fine. Oh my god, the show off. And a lightning strike. It's a miracle. Let's go. Horsey, you're in the wrong spot. Get to your corner. You're supposed to be in your corner, horsey. Let's begin our communication. <laughs> I have other things I can say. Where'd they go? <laughs> okay, Boros. Just go over the top. Easy win, right? They won't be able to deal with this. Welcome to baby's first game against the new mono red. <laughs> wow. Do you think it's resolute reinforcements? I think it's 
against resolute reinforcements. Let's go. Trigger plus two plus O. Oh. Take one. Oh yeah, you're going down fast. Down to nine. Wait for it. We got this frenzy that may need to be deployed here. If they don't kill the show off, we'll have them in the air anyway. So if they go for like a case here, a shock could blow that out. Oh, 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 are we convoking? Yeah, you're dead. <laughs> nice try. Close one. <laughs> oh, okay. This is way more fun. Oh, oh, almost a whiff too. All right, your face. Oh, flying is a great ability. They should try it sometime. <laughs> Dead by four. That's what happens when we don't draw all lands. Good. I'm glad the deck does something. On the play, we have turn two Ruckus on Felden. Let's go. I plot. I'm a plotter. And you're a tapped land gamer. Planes. Do I care about planes? Nobody cares about planes. Let, let's cause that ruckus. Get him. Lay down arms? I think not. No way. No way it's a lay down arms. <laughs> Who does this? Do we have land? Do we have creature? No creature. All right. We're going to work. Playing around future lay down arms with the foundry here. Our best creature by far, I must say. Doggo. Woof. Do I play with fire? You're raw. <laughs> Are you impressed? I do not play with fire. I have to get my damage. Play with fire is damage, but this damage won't always be available. It's an opportunity to trample over for four. Spirited Companion as a card other than in the green white enchantment deck basically died when Monstrous Rage arrived, at least in best of one. Oh, we go straight to Demolition Field, okay. Thanks for the mana, 11, and this is seven. We need to find a haste creature. That might do it. That might do it. Not you. Nope, not you. Oh my goodness. We try again. Bingo. If only I had known I was going to draw it, but still, this is pretty good spot. Oh, we could plot it. What is it? It's one, two, three, four, five. We put them at two. The thing about that is if they play a Wandering Emperor and exile it, that's a disaster. And this deck is often sorcery speed, right? I think plotting it's the better play. I think if we wait until next turn, will be okay. If they just hold up Wandering Emperor, that's also scary, but we can also just wait. Paragon, okay, that flies, that's a problem. But are we good enough to go over the top? I think we are. I think we can go over the top here. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Beautiful. There's my, our block. Few, few things here. Yeah, okay. Get him. Get him! It's so much damage! Oh, they're just little shocks. Wow. Bang, bang. <laughs> Who's next? I'm going all the way to Mythic with this thing. 
<laughs> it can only lose to itself. Wow, can't keep that. Can keep this. Put one of those lands on the bottom. I'm sure I'll never draw another one. Ooh, let's do it. A lot. Is that the new, is that the new next level play? Get our plot on? See, now we go Swifty, Kamano, no stick, so let's roll with it. And now our Squee is going to be powered up. Woo! Pick four. <laughs> what you going to do? Kill it? Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good card. All right, well, give him the business. Hoping and praying. We need the squee to get a lot of work done. The squee did not get any work done. Okay, we're looking for creatures. That's not a creature. But we get a clutch scry into? I mean, that's a card. It, it does stuff. And right now the shields are down, so we'll hit them with what we've got. Down to four, despite temporary lockdown. On three. They appraise. What do they hit? They hit lockdown. Good for them. <laughs> That's some stuff. Well, they have like eight lockdowns in their deck with that combo, I guess. Four health. Come on, baby. I concede. Eight lockdowns and angel fire. Sure. What a combo. On the play. Kumanos and Swifties. Of course a foundry, just to make sure our mana's not good. It's gotta, we gotta have a little bit of a struggle bus. Can't have it easy for content. Uh, eh? Elf Druid Soldier? Yeah, okay. Getting punished by the Foundry. Love that. What else you got? Scrappy. Two mana dorks. Impressive. Frenzy. Frenzy's pretty good. Zap. There might be something else big on the horizon, but that O3 is a pain. The stalwart can't do anything without another creature or artifact to tap, so it's not the scariest. Beastie. You got something else? Hydra for one. Yeah, you showed me. You sure showed me. And start finding lethal. They're probably going to play some big creatures, so our future attacks are unlikely to be good. As a result, I think we Swifty now. A chump block is a tap treasure, but they won't do it. And they go to seven. Mirix. But why? What are you doing with Myrix? I mean, is this deck just all the biggest Hydras one could ever hope to make? Is that what we're doing here? Kadama, sure. Yeah. You gonna attack me? You want... What? Whoa! Dude. It's pretty bold. I mean, this has Vigilance, so I get it. Beast Caller, I don't know if I'd attack with that. But let's see. We can't draw the red source. They have two blocks and I have potentially five damage because my mana is bad. Play this for zero. One, two. We got reach over here. We got reach. We got reach. I think this game might be done. I think this is the play. And now... Like, we could have all in and gotten one damage in, and I don't think it matters. I think I need to get them to attack. But remember, their modified creatures have trample because Kodama's a house. I 
Maybe I shouldn't have kept the hand. Oh, that's game. Cool. I'm so happy. I did they found the line for victory. And it was me never drawing a land. Ouch. <laughs> this is my mono red life. Mana flood, mana screw, and the things in the middle you forget about because they happen so fast. On the play, this hand is busted. Come on, I think we're going straight to the 2-4. And then we'll take it from there. That is cut down mana. Cut down... Oh wait, cut down does affect me, doesn't it? Make him have it. This is probably where you play around it, though. But I will not. <laughs> Feels like go for the throat. Feels like go for the throat. In that case, we send the foundry. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Actually, that's insanely awesome for us. Let me show you. They should have waited until I was in combat. That's such a big oops. So let's see, they're tapped out. I think we use the rage while we can. I think that's the play. And I go over here because they're gonna use any spot removal they draw on the show off. And if they had a cut down, we would have seen it. Did that. Oh no, what will I do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing like bat into scoop on their turn three. <laughs> running gun, baby, running gun. Fast games, that's the life of the outlaw. My goodness, the avatar is everywhere. Yeah, sure. I do think you plot first. I think that's the way, especially since a cut down, we can overpower with a monstrous rage. Same for a play with fire. Plot. I am a little worried about these frenzies. Uh-huh, Boros, sure. We don't have, we have it. <laughs> Never mind. We've got the show off. I double plot. I plot more. Frenzy, I am not worried about you anymore. Are you ready for a race? You don't know what I'm plotting. You can guess. Oh, these are face up. They know exactly what I'm plotting. That's a little unflavorful, I must say. If you know what somebody's plotting, come on. I can't believe they need to rope to gleeful demolition. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, you you boros you borosed all over the place. Swifty, show off, ruckus. Menace and Trample, let's go. Makes the Swift Spear super relevant. No blocks, huh? I rage. I rage. You're at seven. And you've got blocking to do. Hopefully I'll get to show off why I think Frenzy really belongs in here. There's a vamp. Well, both my creatures have trample, so I'm feeling okay. <laughs> Come on. Surely there is a number with which you attack, and it's not zero. If they attack here, I don't think we use a Frenzy, even if they attack with three or more creatures. Because if we draw land, we need to be able to double Frenzy to finish them off. I think one Frenzy will be enough. There's the land. <laughs> we can wait till blocks are declared because of the trample. That's why it's so good with the frenzy. Next, damage. Sure. You got it. 
That's seven. No blocks, huh? Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Light up those convoke decks. Might be one of the only things more annoying than mono red. Outlaws versus ninja. Sounds like an anime. Yep. It's got Swifty, it's got show off. We can see where we land. Double show off. Hype. Are we a plotter? Open mana? Dread Knight? Hmm. Are we a plotter? This might be one of those games where we really need to take advantage of our opponent, so we wait for them to cast their Shieldred, and then we double Slick Shot and Swifty and just crash. And hopefully somewhere in there they get aggressive. I need to stop drawing land though. Oh, look at that. Get you some. Pass. Okay, deck. But why? Let's get us some damage. They see the show off, so they're going to hold removal for it, which if you play your cards right, lets you get in a lot of damage. If they don't cast a removal spell here, they wasted their mana. The bat, just in time to get my only spell. I'm sure we'll draw one. We now have four Witch Soccer Frenzy, four Shock, four Play With Fire, and three Lightning Strike to kill this bat. Easy. Never didn't have it. So, what's the play? They're still holding up Go for the Throat. Do we just head in? They kill one of these. They're going to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Seems good. Triggers! Might as well make your play. Well done. A go for the throat. Who could have foreseen it? Your face. Let's get max value out of these prowess triggers and avoid another bat. Down to three. I don't think Sheldred saves them. No, it does not. Or I guess it leaves them at one. That's a pretty good card. <laughs> That's messed up. Perfect curve out. A new show off. All right, let's get two. Plot it up. This, if they don't attack with the cottage, we know. Six to nine, nice. Children. Okay, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Big draw. Big draw. Hoi. Oh. Oh. Is it my birthday? Is that enough? It is. As long as they don't have cut down in response. Ripped. What a bird! <laughs> Children could not save you against the quickest draw in the West. Swifty Felden Squeeze show off. It's harder to draw the creatures than the spells. Although it's kind of hard to draw everything, to be honest, today, sometimes. So, you know, I think we keep a, a four creature, one spell hand. Meow. My reputation precedes me. <laughs> Come on, Mono Red. Where is my 60% win rate and my easy rank up? That only exists on YouTube videos. And their privileged accounts and their perfect draws. Manufactured propaganda. This is a Latina streamer? Brazilian, maybe? Anyway, we go first. 
I need a creature. <sighs> better. Actually. Actually better. Kumano! Might be going straight to the show off. Let's see. What you got? Thicket. I'm going straight to the show off. They don't run removal. They've never removed a card in their life. This is gonna work. Now play your little enchantment creature. What the heck? That has reach? Uh, cast a mount? Look, I don't know. And when I don't understand something, I kill it with fire. Because I am mono red. Why read it when you can just kill it? If we don't draw a spell, we're going to lose. So hold on to your butts. Uh, oh, mounts. It's all about mounts. <laughs> show me, show me your mounts. That's a two four. And it enters scry two. When saddled, at the end of combat, exile it and up to one creature that saddled it. Then return those to the battlefield. Swifty. I mean, we just gotta go. We just gotta have damage. That is the correct block. Let's see what you got this turn. Holding land, just making them sweat. Obviously they need another creature. I don't think they can afford to attack. What is this? When it becomes tapped, you gain one life. Hard hitting quest, what? One mana removal spell. Life gain is cheats. Oh no. Oh no. The Duke is settled. Gain one draw. Flicker. Double flicker so they have blockers up. Oh God. Oh no, and another scry two. That's stacking your deck and that's illegal. Somebody stop them. What do you guys think? Are we a 17 land deck? Maybe we are. That is a Magic the Gathering card. Where and how to use it though? Do you think they'll block with both? Let's find out. Those are good blocks. Those are very good blocks. If they don't have a way to gain life, we're not afraid of this. Would they block with this? They probably have another. I think we just go face. If we're going to go face anyway, we don't have to do it now. We can just let this resolve. Because if they play another one, we might have to strike that. We have eight shocks in the deck. Well, seven. Seven ways to deal two damage. Plus, we could draw into our slick shot. That would also do it. As long as it's your turn, mounts have hexproof. Okay. I accept. Clickety clack. All right, we hold because we might draw a prowess effect. The slick shot in particular. But they're holding up mana. They ask hard hitting questions. They play neat cards. I would like to just spoil their day with a top deck, please. Okay, they tap out. That has reach, though. All right, my turn. <laughs> fail. Epic fail. What's this do? Makes mana. That is the life gainer. But I think them going to six is fine. I think we accept six. There's still draws on the table that get the job done. 
Everybody's coming in. We go to seven. Those are untapped. The scrying continues. All this to top deck a lightning strike, please. Uh-huh. Now I think we have to fire this off. Oh, wait, you can gain another life here? Oh, that's such cheats. That's such cheats. It's at the end of combat, not end of turn. I hate it. Thanks, I hate it so much. Hey! Might be it. That is not it. Lucky. Lucky rot. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Good build, though. I think if you're going to saddle, I would take notes from this deck. Daniel. Terrible name. Beep. Uh, sure. Something like this. For those who didn't get that joke. You know, sometimes I feel like I have to break character, you know, just so that you all get in on the joke. My name's Daniel. That's my real name. And for those who are like, oh, I didn't know, I thought it was a secret. It's literally in the credits of the videos. Just read the description one time. <laughs> but I, I feel like I have to explain because someone out there is like, what's he got against somebody's name? He's so toxic. That's you. That's how you sound. Yeah, this is going great. Let's plot. Uh-huh. Yep. They're doing it. Don't forget the rage. They did forget the rage. Hmm. This is a frenzy turn, right? So we have to do this. They're just gonna take it. Because what do they have? Like a shock? I think so. Then we gotta do this, which sucks, but it's what it is. The rage has to counter their shock. If that doesn't happen, we can't win. Godric. Here comes something. Okay, can we come back? We gotta do better than that! It's been a game of top decking lands, boys and girls. It really has. Open mana is a threat of its own. Let's see what they've got. I have a 2 3. Off the top? Do they draw land? I do. They plot a show off. Great. That's got to be bad for us. <laughs> far from over, far from over. I mean, if they draw a spell, do we lose? Kind of? I, I, no, this doesn't prowess. Yeah, we'll just send this foundry here. The opponent wants to double block good. They do not. Uh-huh. That can't be good. What a master. Fifteen. We need to hit like Ren's Resolve into something into something. It's not gonna happen, right? 
But if we do like this, can we win from this? If we draw a removal spell, we can block a swift spear. Nope, but they'll have two swift spears. So what do we draw? There's nothing we can really draw there. Uh, cool. All right. They're so much better at magic than me. Do you think they run 17 lands? Yeah, okay. Oh, I'm losing it, man. I'm really molding today. That is a beautiful art and it makes me nervous because the card has lifelink. I mean, it looks like a good hand. It's on the draw. I'll probably draw six lands. Human? Okay. We're doing it like this, I see. I see. How to play it. So against Boros, we just want to go over the top and go face. This Warden will eventually be big enough to block the show off. And it might be as early as next turn. But we do have Frenzy in the deck. Let's just go. Love that attack. What else you got? Land go. Beautiful. No plots. Just bops. If they had resolute reinforcements into the case that would kill it, we take our L. We're on the draw against Boros. We have to take risk. I don't think we upkeep play with fire here. Their hand is gotta be subpar if this is the play, but they probably have another recruiter if this is the play too. So how all in are we? Six damage, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Am I right? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Put them to 1. If they use their Battlefield Forge, they die. Can they deal me 14? If they play, rec if they play Land, Creature, Recruiter. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nah, they ain't got it. They got nothing. Putting lands on the bottom on principle. All right, show me how you kill me. Impress me. Come on, impress me. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that works. I'm gonna get this rank. That is the plot. I want this rank. I'm not just gonna sit here in plat four and play mono red. <laughs> sure. Come Ruckus Kimono Squee. It's a plot, baby. It's a plot. Hold up your cut down forever. Or main phase of Malcolm? Question mark? I'm hoping to draw the land. gonna do it now it's a blue deck the bat what are they gonna take probably a lightning strike might be the squee throw off my kimono yeah I get it oh, that's a good draw let's do it get that counter hold that ruckus it's a prowess trigger someday might also be good on the Kimono to stay out of cut down range. They have two lands and they're chilling. Sure feels like cut down or go for the throat to me. Hmm. I have till the end of my next turn to play those sweet, sweet cards. Nice. They 
they take it? Okay. End step, another Malcolm. Good a time as any. Malcolm, not a very good blocker. <laughs> Would much rather be attacking. We're going to overload their mana capabilities this turn. That's the grand plan. And hopefully get in enough damage for Lightning Strike to finish the job. They dropped an underdog. Probably just pass. Okay. Well, the rage has to happen. Felden, like etching's a little better than Felden, but we really want the ruckus to resolve. We want to draw the removal and then hit them really hard on the other side. So we go here. What you got? They try to cut down, we rage in response. They go for the throat instead, makes sense. They really didn't want me to have a card. You are at six. And you're tapped out. You are at three. Shelly? Shelly's good here. A draw immediately. No Shelly. They know about the other lightning strike and they have a Felden on board to cope with. <laughs> and they cannot cope. Q. The avatar is everywhere. Let's see if the opponent's playing new cards. Ruckus, sure. Oh, yeah, other new strategy. Yes, of course. Uh, I will, I think, just plot. Right? You put out the Swifty, probably just gets shocked. Here's their code breaker. Lovely little 3 2, owie. Here is this mountain. Here is this swift spear. Here is its ruckus. Here is a play with fire on the code breaker. Because we went second. Uh, take some chunks out of them. See if they have a lightning strike. And if they do, we still draw a card. Swift D. This is where all these removal spells are going to come in handy. We fall to 11. Show off. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah? I don't think they kill me next turn, right? So maybe it's... Uh, this? In this? I don't think they kill me here. It would take a hell of a draw. Let's see it. Ren's Resolve is a good start. They have the land drop. What is this? Highway Robbery. Oh, sure. I've seen this. That's eight. Nine. Not quite dead. Let's go here. And I guess I can't attack. So if they have a hasty creature, I'm ready. That is a hasty creature. If you do draw two, they're gonna sack a land for two cards. Clutch. They go for it. We got a top deck. You know they're gonna find their burn spell. Rage. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not good enough. So we're living on a prayer. Two points shy. There's a Swifty. 
And the Yeah. That will do it. Menace too good. New cards at least. Same mono red. Go first or you die. All right, we're going 17 land. We have to. Sick of drawing my fifth land and losing mirrors. Sick of it. I'm over it. I'm done. Uh, huh. Sure, we just have to draw, ha, a land. But we will. We will. 100%. What the hell is this? Defender? High plot. Defender? Transforms into a 3-3. Three, three. Is this the most anti-mono red deck of all mono red decks? Uh, what? Yeah, that is a 2-4. Okay. Pass? What is happening? Exile the top card, you may play it. I mean, they're ranking up Shreddies. The true master at work. One mana open. Well, kept a two lander. Here we are. Here we are. It can potentially kill it, so I guess I have to do this, even though I hate giving them ledgy shreddies. This is on their turn, right? Yeah, combat on your turn. Rope comes out. What does it mean? I think they have slip out the back. We would have seen a fading hope by now. March of Swirling Mist or Slip out the back is my prediction. You can be considering slipping the Godric there to avoid the ruckus. But causing a ruckus is part of the fun. Jace! Okay. Let's see how it all plays out and can it beat a Godric? The pieces are scattered. Oh, they plot? Piece. I'm happy to see that. Okay, we gotta finish it here. Because that's only a one plus one plus one counter. It means it's a lot easier for us to get through. Please, on the captive weird, of course. Captive weird is so sus. <laughs> yep. Giddy up. Swifty. Swifty. This already has Trample. I guess I want the Swifty to have Trample. A land, you say? Your face. What you got? Seems simple enough. That ain't it. <laughs> that is okay. I guess we'll damage here, but I'm not going to kill either one, right? Figure it out. So, whatever we cast here is going to kill the Vandal. We have Trample. If we strike the face, they go to 10. We could hold the strike though. We could also strike the ledger shredder. Then they're down to just a captive weird and a thirst. They can put a bunch of counters on it. Godric can fly potentially. It also has menace and trample, but is face supposed to be the place? I don't know. There's a chance I lose, right? 
We're at 20, but is there some combination of things they can do that draws, counters draw? No, I don't think so. So we should use the Godric while we can. To go here and get the fire breathing ability while we have it. And we leave them at four. They can't take another point or the strike is lethal. Although I would imagine there's some kind of a counter spell in this deck. I also expect them to have a lot of large blockers next turn. Okay, two spells in the bin. So either they didn't draw land or they really need one. Okay, Scholar, that flies. They're gonna have a lot of toughness. We just have to draw a way to get a damage through. That's a march. Ooh, they must have another march, right? You must have another march. I don't think there's any way they'd give up that march if they didn't have another. Uh-huh. So two marches? All right. No attacks. We draw. It looks lethal enough, doesn't it? Trample, prowess. I mean, do I attack? They block here, they block here. It doesn't achieve anything. Your face. I'm hoping they just held on to march. Easy. Goblins shouldn't play blue. <laughs> Not giving up till I rank up. Uh-uh, no way. Gonna be plat three. Or else working on mono red feels like such a waste. I mean, is this a keepable one lander? Not really. Far from the perfect hand, isn't it? Keeping the arena tradition alive. One Godric in the deck. It's your most expensive card. Of course it's in your opener. <laughs> a lot easier with a Godric than a Holebreaker Horror. I'll tell you that. I'm just going to email spam. Email spam? <laughs> Boomer alert. <laughs> I haven't seen all of them. This is for your benefit. It has nothing to do with my opponent pregame roping. They're not roping yet, but just give him a, give him a second. There it is. There it is. Is, is he singing? Let's, have, let, let's do the tour again. Tipple Tip, are you singing a song here? I mean, that one. Yeah, exactly. How about this? Yeah. Okay, Oko. Very charming. And. What? I don't know. I don't know. Yep, full rope mode. I'll keep this hand. See if we can rope out our opponent on turn one. In the meantime, I'll continue to sing the song of the Fipple Thip people. I'll just uh, hit them hard. <laughs> if you didn't catch the other emotes, I guess I'll show off the text ones. Uh, Tarnation, Howdy, Draw, Pondering, and Yeehaw. See, I'm going all out for this release. I'm giving you the, the full tour of all the cosmetics. That's what you're here for, right? Let the punching begin. Oh yeah, double pain land. They thought they were safe. They saw my name and they thought they were safe. I will plot. <laughs> Calyx, is that you? Resto e Ganjo, perfect. I mean, they'll probably get their spirited companion back. No, they won't, because that's not how it works with Kimono faces Kakazan. Hey, land. Nice. All right. They're tapped out. We should probably hit them as hard as we can. And let's get another Kimono going. 
If they take the etching off the board with something like an ossification, then we will get the card draw. So hopefully we'll hit another land. Uh, they got teachings. Okay. No ossification yet. That's the Calyx. Love that. Audacity. Oh, it's happening. Oh, my God. No damage will be dealt by us for the rest of this game. I thought we had him with the Brushlands. I really did. There's no justice in the world. The full pregame rope. They got stuck with their opening hand. And this is, this is what we get. That's not a bad draw though. You wanna block? How are you gonna block? Dubs? Sure. Uh, three, three first? Why not? And then this goes there because that card is just going to win him the game. We draw, is it? It's not a land. All right. At the moment, they don't have life gain on the battlefield. They might drop some big hits on us, but maybe we can find a way. They also don't have flying. Oh, there's life gain. Okay, wedding, whatever. One attack, yep. Okay. Can't let them gain life. That is a show off. If they attack with their naturalist, we might lose the game. If I don't play the show off here, we almost certainly lose the game. Yeah, if I just strike this, there's no way I can win next turn, right? This is... Not unless they attack really badly. So, I have to hope they can't attack me. I have to plot and hope. Plot and hope. At least not make a good attack. One, this is six, this is seven. If we draw land, uh, it's still not there because we have all these two mana spells stuck in our hand. Okay. How about one? That's six. That's nine. So if they can't grow the naturalist and they attack with it here, we could top deck a land, lightning strike, rage, show off, in the air, win. We lose to just about anything that can do anything on, relevant on the board, like block a flyer. That's not it. That's not it. Anything that pumps the naturalist is likely an L as well. They take one. Classification in the bin. They don't attack with naturalist. I think that I think that's gonna do it. That's gonna do it. They don't attack with naturalist. The land is there. Any secret reach over there? I don't think so. Slick victory. I meant yeehaw. I meant yeehaw. <laughs> yeehaw! I'm getting this rank. Nothing in Tarnation gonna stop me from getting this rank. That, not even this dinosaur. Go first. Come on. Go first. Go first. Yeah. Uh, also, can't keep. Okay, we got a show off, so it's a keep. It's that simple. Ruckus. We keep rage. We keep anger. I guess we get rid of play with fire. Weird world we live in. But yeah, it's plot, plot, big attack, I believe. Maybe I'm not supposed to keep rage. Maybe that's too all in. But that's what we are. All in. Takes commitment to play this red deck. It's not your pokey dokey little mono red. It's a mono red deck that goes for big stats. Like how much is this attack potentially? It, don't worry about it. It's huge, ginormous. The fact that they can see it coming means nothing. 
Nothing. Okay, they are plotting against me. <laughs> okay, would you like to plot as well? They plotted a ruckus. Code breaker. I love it. They're not holding back. They're starting their own ruckus. Let's go. 16. That would be a mountain. Boy, do we have options. I wish I knew what I would draw off this anger. It's very tempting to hit for everything I can with the show off. And I think I should, because I think they're going to counterattack, leaving the squee attack wide open. Come on, one mana spell. That is not it, but we ride with four toughness. You're at eight. Of course, now it's just a little three, four. There's no way it's another land off the top, right? There's no way. Beautiful. I think they have... Do we need to play around a Frenzy? We know they have like strike, play with fire, something. I think we actually need to play around a Frenzy and not play the Squee. Weird, but I think that's right. Oh yeah, we keep... Drop them to one, play defensive Squee. They had nothing. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, they still, they might have had Frenzy. Friend, there was no stick there because it was never reduced by enough for it to stick. They might have had Frenzy. I saw the instant pass when Squee came out and I thought they had nothing, but I think there's a real, Frenzy is still on the menu. Code breaker, that's a block. Quick draw in the west. Sometimes you get, and sometimes you get got. Yeah, that hand does things. It's on the draw. So if our opponent is on a perfect curve, we're in trouble. Because we don't have removal. And they have turn one scrub. Maybe it's better that we don't have removal. <laughs> Got him. Played around it. Easy Kimano. Yep, they're doing enchantments, which means we have to watch out for their life linkers. If they have those ready to go, we're in big trouble. Shall we play? Hmm. This might be the only time for the Codebreaker to get some value, and they might remove it. So let's do that. Like, I don't think they'll block. So we get three points, and we get to save the show off for when we can combine it with Monstrous Rage, and we have Godric for next turn. Because if we go show off into Rage Rage... Uh-oh, Life Linker spotted. They attack with Skrelv. Okay, we need to draw removal. We don't. That is very bad, but they're also not in a good position to block, so this is a ton of damage. And they take it all going to five. How much can they deal with Katilda here? The answer might be a ton. Visitor. Companion. Oh, man. Getting strong over there. Getting really strong. They don't copy the ability. They've got something else, too. Please stop. And audacity. Right, will they attack, though? Will they attack us? They attack with everything. We go to four. They go to 14. And we're missing a land. Can we get there with what we have? I think there's a chance. Come on, team. I'm not doing the math. Math is for blockers. Either we have it or we don't. I think we have it. I want to believe. <clears throat> Taste it, enchantments. Your life link is useless. Well, plot into plot into nonsense. On the draw, is it too slow? 
This isn't, is it? It's mono red. Yes, take damage. That's right, play your Boros. Okay. I mean, they might just have the Boros Nutter Butters and we are already flooding, so. I don't know what our real chances are like. But we'll see what we can do. Uh-huh. Well, if that's the best you got. So right now, they can play. Oh, never mind. They've got it. They've got the demolition. <laughs> yeah, we're we're probably cooked. I think we have to play show off next turn. I don't think we have a choice. And then hopefully get there. We do have a lot of damage next turn. I haven't done the math because that's for blockers, but I don't know. Maybe they do have to kill us here. Did they have land into recruiter into game? Let's find out. It's gotta be one of the best draws they could have. And we go to four. This is the moment. This is the time. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It's just gotta be 13, right? Oh God, is it one short? One, two, no, it's not, it's not, it's not. It's one over. Get good, Convoke. You gotta do way better than that. As we go into this game, the only thing that's important is that our deck does its thing. So, what do we think of this hand? Yep, our deck does its thing, and it does it on the play. GG. Dead to one removal spell? Don't worry about it. Don't you even worry about it. Boros, let's go. Look at this. <laughs> if they so much as tap a mana, they're going to suffer. But what are they going to do? Not play their deck? Do it. Cast it. Wow, a two mana four four. That's so impressive. This is a really good follow up too. Okay. I mean, we could plot it and set up for next turn. That might be lethal. So how much is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Any spell off the top is lethal okay especially since we draw a card from the ruckus and we get a few scries <laughs> would you like to sack your Malira in response Godric we could plot the show off and have Godric next turn we're down to 12. Nah, that's not good enough. We can do better. We just need a spell, right? To go with the backup show off if they actually do produce a blocker. No, a blocker won't do. We have Menace. <laughs> uh, they really want the Godric. I really want the spell. I just want a spell to go with my backup slick shot show off. So I can win the game. Deck. Deck. What? Three creatures in a row? Deck. All right. Down to four. Whatever you're gonna do, do it now. Make it impressive. Uh huh. Oddly, they're not dead. <laughs> if we <laughs> if we fail here, Diru and Hazard. I like that with Inti. That's. Slick. You can get your hand low. Okay, they scoop. Oddly, they were not dead here, but we take those. Make sure our hand does the thing. Does it do the thing? No. No. Yes, kind of. Keep. All right. Two lands. Two swift spears? 
for one swift spear and two draw effects in anger and ruckus. Yeah, okay. Feels bad though. But we, we need to be able to replace this swift spear if it doesn't work out. We really need to be able to replace this swift spear if it doesn't work out. Okay, Kimono. I will show you the new Kimono and it's Demonic Ruckus. Okay. I think what we need to do is anger a swift spear while they're tapped out. Okay, that's another land that's not particularly great. But here's a 5-5. Five five. They want to deal with the 2-3. They don't get their plus one, plus one counter because they have to lightning strike it. And instead, they felled in. All right, we need spells off the top. Come on. Come on. That will do. Very solid. All right, we got to ride this to victory. This is what we got. Just a couple of monastery swift spears causing a ruckus. Draw a lightning strike, win the game. This is a mold of five. Our opponent's got the cards. But did they got the heart of the cards? That's a scoundrel. That's a roll. Everybody in? Frenzy? No frenzy. Well, I have a mountain. I had one job, man. One job. You think they can kill me next turn? I think they can. I think they can kill me. Do we have to de do we have to play defense then? Is that the play? I, I think if you block, you die, and I think if you don't block, you die. So I'll mo I'll block a few things and try to draw into the best possible cards. Don't know if I should have held the land or not, though. That's a tough one. They probably picked up on no stick there, so I, we're probably just dead in the water. That's too bad. We were a card away. Ooh, that's not lethal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's not lethal. You're not lethal. Okay, come on. Big draws. Big draws. <gasps> I'm, I'm starting to get angry. I, I can't push my luck here. I think we got to go. And I think they're going to double block one of them. And then we have to draw the perfect card when they do. Draw the perfect card. Like, something that draws cards. That That's about as Magic the Gathering as it gets. <sighs> I mean, the hand does the thing. It does the thing. Ow. What a start. All right, let's cause a ruckus. See if they hold up mana or not. Evangel. Okay. Cool. What are they up to, do you think? Obviously very aggressive, going with a point of damage, a crime land, if you will. I hope that's what they're called. <laughs> ruckus, 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 ruckus. Bam. Now what? You gonna play Gix or something? I welcome it. Aggro. Admirable. Creature is going to enter with a counter. We could go for the code breaker. I guess that's the more reliable play. It's not good against a combination of cut down and go for the throat, though. It's 
still, they discarded a go for the throat. I think they have a go for the throat. And we want to get damage in. Just not cut down, please. I'll feel very bad. Oh, they counter it. Is that a go for the... Is that a cut down? No cut down. All right. They, they quenched me. Fine. Yep, they have Shieldred. Sure. Everybody loves a good Shieldred. That is not what we needed. Okay. Okay. What do we do? What do we do? Go big or go home. Take it. Can rage here? I think we have to. I think if we don't rage here, we really never will. And I think the damage is more likely to get through if it's on the swift spear in the future. So they're gonna go up to five and we'll see what draw effects they have. Prime land. Memory. Okay, seven. What else? Remember, they discarded a go for the throat. That's like, wow. That's big, that's big moves. Dare you attack. I don't think you dare. You wouldn't. You couldn't. All right, fire at will. Yeah, we need it. To battle, we have to kill this and double block. Ooh. They have it. They have the go for the throat. Okay. So kill the Shieldred? I guess we can see what we draw. Might draw a rage. Another strike. Kill the Shieldred and we should be able to win, right? It's really close. Okay. I mean, they might have backup Shieldred. So close. How about you take one from your underground river? How about that? You got that for me? Can you provide that? We're at eight. Oh God, we're at eight. Get you some. Okay, we're at six. And pass. Oh, that's lethal. But we, they showed us a counter spell. Okay, make them have it, but not now. Very Vandal. Resolve. Strike you. Shock you. They didn't have the counter. Send them packing, children and all. We're on the draw with the, well, it's what the deck came to do. That's what it is. <laughs> Plot, plot, Godric, show off ruckus. Oh, don't say if I'll draw a land. I'll draw a land. I'll draw like six of them. That's been the trend of the day. Well, let's see what kind of opponent we have. Are we going to get to have fun? Play around that cut down. Uh-huh. Sorcery speed. Sure. Keep setting it up. Keep setting it up. Preacher. Yep. Oops. It's vampires, everybody. It's vampires. Land. Beautiful. All right. You. 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 Have eight.
And we are a cut down victim, unfortunately. So we could have just played Ruckus on Godric and held for when we had all this open mana to play the show off, which might have actually been better. Because the opponent just came with removal. Good. Okay, we have to draw a creature or we die, so let's put an upkeep stop. Never mind, an upkeep stop does not matter. They do have a lifelinking vampire token. So our play with fires aren't going to get there on their own. We've got to do better than that. Oh, it's 12 to 12. Nice, double triggers. Good, good. I guess I wanted them to pay the life, though. It offsets the vampire token. Okay, here we go. We've got to hit a show off or something. They're going to appraise? That's risky. They missed the shielded. They got a preacher. Nice wide board. All right, let's go. We got to find a show off. That's not a show off. Good scries, good scries. Let's try again. Codebreaker with monstrous rage and ancestral anger. Math, I hate math. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Trample. Three toughness, one lifelink. Opponent at what? They already took the two. They're gonna be at six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And a card off the top. I could also shock. No, I can't. Because I have to cast this. So what I'm seeing is that the code breaker is not good enough. Because the preacher's in the way too. It's gotta be Godric, or it's got to be Show Off. Slick Shot? I keep saying Show Off. Yep, it is Show Off. Slick Shot, Show Off. That's the name. Boom! Boom! One mana off. One card away. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, then. Okay, opponents on Demir, and they went first. We are in big trouble. Let's see if they have a bat. Not shooting the siren unless they target it. They do not, okay? Let's plot. Flash creature? Nope. Maybe a make disappear. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Now the bat? Well, that's not so bad. We has our removal. And they take the Godric, sure. <laughs> Shall we do the thing? It doesn't play around cut down. It does not do that. That is tough. Do we play around cut down here? I think we kind of have to. So let's just do this. You see that stick? We'll just do this. Gotta make them leave one mana open for the entire game, if that's how they're gonna play it. And they're gonna. Think they have a go for the throat? Probably. Let's go here. I guess we're probably gonna lose something to a cut down no matter what, because we failed to draw a pump spell. So let's do the things. Power up! <clears throat> yeah, no kidding. In response, I could pump it, but I wouldn't save it. Please don't have double cut down. That will really make me mad. <laughs> make disappear the shock. Okay. 
Nice. Go to nine. They have a Godric to deal with and they know I have a backup. Shelly, always. Okay, let's see what we can do. It's a big turn and we have to draw a spell. If we draw one, I think we're in good shape. Especially a monstrous rage. Play with fire. Okay. Don't think we can get Godric into the air though. Chumpies. Okay. Gotta do better than that. They're at one. They're at three. What else you got? One Shieldred against the team. Ooh. All right. I'll target the Godric because I have another one. Scoop it up. On a red finds a way. When did Shieldred get so pedestrian? It's coming. I can feel it. On the play, on the draw. Well, the hand does the thing. So I think that's a keep. But we might be dead before we get to do the thing. They've got Swifty. I think the way we sequence is... Ruckus, plot. I want to be able to play the show off and get a Ruckus or two onto it. Look at him go. Look at him go. I mean, if I'm not lightning striking here, I'm just going to lose, right? Eventually. I also have to draw more lands. If I don't draw more lands, I'm just going to lose. And the way that I draw cards is next turn with the anger, right? I could also get this down. Next turn I play this, it has a counter. This has a counter, put another one on it. Okay. Feels bad. Especially with these lightning strikes in hand. But this is who we are. How aggro are they? How perfect is their draw, chick? And rage. And anything else? We go to eight. Now we have to figure it out. We draw the land. So it has to be you. Has to be you. Rage. Eleven. All right. They ain't got it. They got nothing. They got nothing. You know, if I went first, I bet I'd win. I go first. This looks like a pleasant magic experience. Maybe if I'm really lucky, I draw a show off. Any creature that I could cast would be, like, pretty awesome. Okay, I got a critter. Probably just lightning strike face, then Godric. We just have to kill him first. Trying to control them is useless. Yep, you can have a Warden. And you can Scry. And they probably have Gleeful Demolition here. Because why wouldn't they? There it is. I'm still at 20. I'm not afraid of you. Sure, you got everything going for you. Oh, that's a show off. That's really good next turn. All right, Godric, get it in. Just, just don't overthink that. And then top deck land, show off Rage Rage. Easy. Barely an inconvenience. Uh-huh, you did that thing. You're going to attack?
impressive. You got me to nine. Let me show you how it's done. See, the key to this format, in case you didn't know, is going first. Going first is how you win. See? It's not hard. Just got to do it. <laughs> oh, best of one. Let's go. <laughs> Many big brain complex decisions in mono red. You know, you got to you gotta figure out the right number of lands. Is it 17? Is it 18? Ooh, you got to make sure that in your opening hand, you have the right color lands to cast your spells. Okay, check. Did it. Second, you have to be absolutely sure, and this is an important one, that you're not playing green. Because green sucks. That thing gains life, so let's kill it. Uh, next turn, we will plot. Then we'll probably either we'll probably cast this end of Kamano. No, we plot in Kamano. Okay, here's our plot. Let them have their simicky cookie thingies. I'm plotting on you. You got your schooner? Keep taking damage. It's good. But do try to remember these ginger brutes are food. Oh, that is a draw. All right. I mean, hard to argue with that, especially while they miss land drops over there. I was going to do a bit more setup. You didn't even explore to find out if, you know, you hit the land. This is it. This is it. I'm going to rank up. I'm going to rank up with mono red. Sign of true skill and gaming mastery. It's a mirror. Do we go first or not? Nope. Why would we? And we can't keep this hand, so awesome. I mean, I guess in theory we could. It's loose AF, but we could. The thing is, even if we draw the land, we have no removal. So even if we drew straight lands, we could lose. Opponent mulliganed will mull too. Still no removal. Why would I draw a shock or play with fire in my deck that has four of each? Don't worry about it. Put away a rage. Go from here. Blue? Blue, huh? Well, I guess we get under blue. I was going to plot. But against make disappear, you gotta go under it. I think they saw my name and mulliganed to a hand that was good against control. And they got bamboozled. That's why you gotta switch it on them. Smarty pantses. Well, look, I ranked up. It only took like two hours. <laughs> Today's random cool kids club member shout out goes to KK Dash. KK Dash. It's just like that. If you are a member, you get 24 hours of early access to my videos, which can be very fun for those of you who want to take the list out and start smashing things immediately. So do check that out. And thank you, KK. You're cool. Have I switched? Am I a mono red gamer now? Is that what the future holds for the channel? I know you're hovering over that unsubscribe button. Hear me out. Okay. If wizards is going to stick to this insanely huge standard best of one is going to become more like best of one in historic and best of one in timeless one-sided lopsided nonsense and i have a job to do as the self-appointed one in best of one to keep you up to date on all of the things that could happen to you that means i don't just play the decks i like i could do a month of blue white control no problem. I play all of them, love them or hate them. I am now impartial. I am now immune to salt. I will never badmouth any deck because I have learned to appreciate all of them in their own way. Anything that gets this wretched game over with is a friend of mine. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Get mono red. <laughs>
<laughs> You're cool.